Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Us to Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out the latest Pac-Man ROM. Um, I reviewed this back, I think 4.4.2. Now it is back better than ever uh, with 4.4.4. Here we go. Uh, Android 4.4.4. And uh, you can also install on the AT&T Galaxy S2 if you use Shift Kernel. And um, I really like it. It's got a ton of features. And let me go ahead and uh, go into some of the features. Uh, most of these features are similar to other AOSP ROMs. Um, so if you know how to customize your phone, you can pretty much skip all of these steps. Uh, but if you don't um, know how and you've never uh, messed with uh, custom ROMs before, here we go. So go into pack settings here. Um, you've got active display. This is uh, similar to uh, similar to the Moto X uh, active display feature. Uh, well, where it will show you notifications uh, with your phone off. Um, so you can play with this to get um, custom notifications uh, when your screen is off. App bar is uh, this one right here. You can go ahead and adjust the width and you can also get it to the right or left. I like having it on the right. And go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and click and drag your favorite apps. All right. And go ahead and hit save. All right, once it has been saved, um, you'll be able to press anywhere up here. Yep, there we go. Um, you may have to reset it. Uh, I turned it on and off. Now it's working, you can go ahead and uh, easily access your shortcuts. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And let me go ahead and turn off, sort of like a PC. You can have all of your uh, shortcuts hiding there. Um, customize animations, you can go ahead and customize all of your animations uh, for different things. And let's actually go ahead and change some of the system here. Um, this is one of my favorites. So you'll see it now sliding in from the right and to the left. A uh, fun way to really customize your phone. Gesture Anywhere, uh, this is one of my favorites. Um, this one, also you can go ahead and tr um, change the trigger width position. Uh, also the height, if you want to only trigger it uh, in certain positions. I like to actually put it about uh, everything on the top most of the time. Uh, this allows you to use a keyboard and not accidentally hit it. Um, so once you have this, go ahead and add your favorite gestures. Um, I'll add one for you and uh, go ahead and choose the app you want to add. Go ahead and choose a browser. And I'm gonna go ahead and write be like this. All right, and that should have done it. And uh, anytime you want to get gesture anywhere, go ahead and press on your trigger area. Whoops, trigger area over here. You will, you'll see a nice little overlay. Go ahead and um, do your uh, do your gesture and you can see it opened up the browser. All right, let's go ahead and look at some of the other features on here. Um, also, you got Halo floating notifications. This is not my favorites lately. I don't know why. I think it's because I've been using a Facebook chat, um, the uh, ch chat, the head on, or was that? Uh, anyway, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like it that much. But I do like the heads up notifications. This is the notifications that kind of uh, pops up. This actually has been implemented with the latest Android 5.0 Lollipop. Um, so this is a nice way to um, get notifications. Uh, also miscellaneous uh, options here. This is more advanced um, if you know how to do it. Uh, Init.t basically, uh, it runs scripts when your phone boots up. Um, so you can kind of customize stuff using that. Uh, pack console, um, this is where you can get a ROM updates OTA. Um, so you don't have to download the ROM all the time. Um, go ahead and download the latest, latest version and install it. Uh, Pi controls, of course, Pi controls is one of my favorites. Uh, make sure you change the trigger option um, to wherever you want it. Here we go. I like to put it on the right screen border. And also you can change, uh, let me see, there we go. Um, you'll have to do a quick swipe from the edge of your screen. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it. But this is a great way, another great way to uh, add your favorite buttons, shortcuts. Um, the way it has it right now, this is the default, but you can go ahead and change all of these, uh, for example, to Chrome, um, browser, Gmail, all of your favorite stuff. And you can also see um, what uh, network you're connected to on your Wi-Fi. 
um, also does show CPU uh, status and uh, that's very nice to have uh, recent panels panel settings here you can go ahead and change your clear all button if you don't like it bottom right you like it um, top right you can go ahead and put it there and then now it's there all right and also pack performance this is where you can go ahead and adjust the CPU um, go ahead I do recommend setting it to uh, 1400 megahertz or 1 1.4 gigahertz uh, that's for the optimal optimal battery life and the performance also there's themes just like CM11 this ROM is based on CM11 so you can go ahead and uh, install a bunch of themes if you want uh, off the Play Store and other than that I'm uh, looking pretty good I mean a lot of um, I really was a fan of Pac-Man ROM because they were like uh, they were a mix of Paranoid Android CM11 and uh, one other ROM um, but uh, now it's back 4.4.4 uh, it's a little bit different now it's not like before um, the features have changed a little bit but it's certainly uh, one, of the, one of the still uh, really good ROMs you can install also uh, with the latest Android 4.4.4 G apps you will get the camera working near flawless um, like unlike when we saw before you can also pause now um, and the AOSP camera works near flawless I think it actually works better than Google camera for most of these older S2 devices but you can go ahead and also install uh, the Google camera off the Play Store and have the ability to use uh, both cameras now this one doesn't have photosphere or a uh, panorama but by adding uh, the Google camera you'll be able to get both uh, Apollo 4 music player DSP manager um, just like CM11 uh, but make sure you do install uh, the Viper 4 Android uh, for some awesome audio um, that's about it for folks so definitely check it out for Galaxy S2 ROM of the week Android 4.4.4 Pac-Man uh, RC2 um, pretty stable version it's a stable version so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week and uh, I will be gone to Thailand uh, for about three weeks um, so I will not have ROM of the week for this whole month I'll probably start back in December so I'll see you then in the meanwhile um, go ahead and check out all of the other KitKat ROMs on my site also they're still pretty darn good um, this is just one of them you can install anyway thanks guys for watching this video as always if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe like and as always stay hoy on Android